Peace family, this is Coach Chris, your intuitive holistic coach, coming to give you guys another reading. I hope all is well. I hope that you are loving yourself, protecting yourself, and respecting yourself along your journey. Okay, so I was shuffling, Source gave me some cards to read to y'all, some oracle cards, three from two different decks. So I'm going to read them to y'all, but I'm going to clear the energy with the singing bowl first. Ashe family. Like I said, I hope all is well. Hope y'all been taking care of yourselves out here in these streets. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to um just start here and then go up. Okay. So we're gonna start with the Hall of Amenti Initiation. Secrets revealed, treasures uncovered, initiations, all of a minty. All right, family. So here it is, right here. Okay, the halls of Amenti are a sacred learning space that were energetically transported by Thoth from Atlantis to the spiritual plane before Atlantis came to an end. It is said that the portal to this etheric retreat is energetically connected to the Great Pyramid of Giza. Many believe that the physical remains of these halls can be found there. We don't have to physically visit Egypt to access their energies, though. The halls of Amenti are said to have been the home of the Emerald Tablet. They are a space of ancient mysteries in service to the expansion of humanity. On this card, you will see two pairs, an echo of the two, I'm sorry, two pillars, an echo of the two pillars that have been found in sacred places throughout history. The black pillar represents the physical world and the white represents the spiritual, indicating that this sacred space is between the worlds. If you feel called to these halls or they seem oddly familiar, there is a chance you have visited them in dream time or even before this incarnation. How to connect. Imagine you are at the Great Pyramid. Above its apex, a portal opens, drawing you in. See yourself at the center of a sacred temple. Set clear intentions to align with your higher purpose and receive a transmission of ancient wisdom. Your message. You are in a deep initiatory chamber. Huh. At this time, you might feel that things are heavy and challenging. But know that a reconfiguration is happening. Yeah, it's on page 77. Master number. Energetically, you are going through an initiation that will allow you to go beyond the fears of the ego and transcend the limitations of the physical realm. You might not feel that light is present because you are in the middle of this phase at the moment, but know that it is present within you. You might be feeling frustrated or overwhelmed, but a lot of this anxiety is actually old energies that were stored in the depths of your body being released so that your vibration can rise. I say, family, rise on up. Push through this initiation, baby. You... <laughs> You just dropping the old stuff and you're gonna bring in the new. That's all. Okay, the next card, Akashic Records. Again, clearing old stories, releasing past lives, and freedom. I just wrote freedom on my own journal earlier. Okay, Akashic Records. Akasha is a Sanskrit word that means ether or sky base and as explained above the akashic records are a compendium of 
universal events, experiences, and lifetimes held in the spiritual realms. Helena Blavatsky, one of the founders of Theosophy, described them as indestructible tablets of the astral light. We can visit the Akashic records in dreams, visions, and meditations. When we are transported or guided to connect with them, we are being given the opportunity to take an inventory of our life and all the events that have taken place in it and to gain information on lifetimes past. How to connect. Ask your angels and guides to direct you to the energy of the Akashic records. If you are feeling stuck or unsure, ask the records to reveal to you any essential soul lessons or information so that you can fulfill your purpose during this lifetime. Your message. When you draw this card, the universe is releasing you from past experiences. These can be soul-based memories, fears from previous lifetimes, or older aspects of this current lifetime that you have moved on from. Know that this is the time to reclaim your freedom and rewrite your story. You can do this by following through on your dreams. Gone are the days of fear-based indecision. This is the time to rise up and claim your truth. If you are sitting on a dream or are feeling called to move in a particular direction, it's because you have unearthed an important soul lesson and it is essential for you to follow that call to clear unwanted energies of your past. As you do so, don't allow yourself to be pulled into expecting the worst possible outcome. Know that this expectation is not your truth but old energy being released from your energy body. Call in angels to shine their light on any repressed fears, energies, or stories that are no longer serving you. It's time to fly high in freedom. Ah, Shay. I just heard, <laughs> I just heard that song that um, Candy, Candy uh, from the Housewives, from um, what group was she in? Um, Escape. I heard that song she made for the um for Kim on the Housewives and she's like I fly above all the haters. I I fly above. I fly above. It's beneath me. It's beneath me. So so I said that's what you're doing. You're releasing all of this stuff. You're flying above the haters. You are elevating. You are rising high. And you just gotta sometimes you may have to go back into the Akashic records to, you know, get those lessons and get some information. But Source is saying you are elevating and all the answers are within you. You are freeing yourself from the past. And right now we are still in Mercury retrograde and there's like five planets, five or six planets retrograde at the same time right now. But we're in Mercury retrograde. So um, a lot of people from the past might be showing up. A lot of thoughts about the past might be resurfacing in your mind. You just have to remind yourself that you are not your old self, that you have grown, that you have evolved, that the new you is who you are. Don't allow anybody to try to make you feel like you have not accomplished all that you have accomplished. You have not changed or grown or evolved as a being, um, is what Source is saying. Drop that past stuff, that fear, whatever it is, drop it because you are rising, family. The next card is Heart of Source all-encompassing love unconditional acceptance and serenity all right the source of the universe is a gigantic heart its beats are angels and beings of light it is what many call god it's love that is beyond gender and dogma it's the infinite experiencing infinity it's all that is, was, and ever will be. It's love being love and expressing love. It's an energy that can be explained that, but never fully comprehended. It's where we have all come from and will all return. The strangest part of all is that we've never left. Even though we are spiritual beings having a human experience, and may feel that source is separate from us, the truth is that we're always connected. 
even when we feel we're not. This gateway takes us not upward, but inward. It's the gateway that reminds us that through the stargate of our heart, we are connected to the heart of creation. Not only that, but we exist and express ourselves within that heart. Even though we may be on planet Earth and experiencing Earth as a planet within the Milky Way, all of this and more is actually being expressed by the heart of Source. The vastness of this divine love is inexplainable, but it's who we are. How to connect. Say thank you, source of love, for bathing me in your infinite light and for reminding me I am one with all that is. Your message. You are connecting directly with the heart of source, the creator of your life and love. You are blessed to receive this card. For it shows the cup of your heart is being filled with love until it overflows. The divine energy that is with you now is helping you melt away any blockages so that you can be open to love, acceptance, and appreciation that you deserve. You are being encouraged to view yourself in a loving way and give yourself permission to be loved. If you have been holding back for a while but are now ready to share the love you have within, this card lets you know it is safe to do so. You are love, loving, and lovable. Step forward, claim your worth, and enjoy a new level of spiritual openness. You are truly blessed. Ashe. You are truly blessed, family. And the next card is um, High Your Heart Activation on page 88 in the 88 portal. <laughs> And that says, dropping shields, divine love, your heart is healed. I share that's where you headed, baby. With this 8 8 portal, your heart is heading to being healed. Divine love is in your energy, family. Accept it. Know that you deserve it. Know that you are worthy. All right, so then we're going to move on to the African goddess deck. Okay, we have 12 12 on the clock, family. I say, radical rebirth. And the number five change is coming with this 8 8 portal family. All right, radical rebirth. All right, so goddess Buya Nahanda's guidance. Yes, you can stop the struggle, you can choose at any moment to start over and be reborn. Like the sun, you rise again and again. Embodiment. Dust yourself off, move forward, and go for it again. Life is about transition and change. You will fall on your face, change your mind, and need to make a comeback again and again. Release the idea that you messed up if things aren't perfect. Stop waiting to be ready. Make new choices and decisions. The goddess declaration is still I rise, still I rise, still I rise. And y'all, if it is not on another master number, 11, it's on page 11. So you might be saying, seeing 11, 11. Uh, you might have been born in November. You might have um, just been seeing the number 11, uh, you know, y'all, that's fire. Okay, next card. <laughs> But you're just being reborn. It's a new you. You have evolved. You have changed. Accept that. The next card is feeling safe. It is safe for you to be your true self, your authentic self. It's safe for you to heal. It's safe for you to grow. It's safe for you to love, to be loved. All right. Goddess Tatiba's guidance. It is finally safe to be you. <laughs> you have wandered through a dark night. Your trip has been long. There is light ahead. Your liberation is apparent. Embodiment. You deserve to feel secure. Feeling safe is knowing that your basic needs are met. Feeling safe is feeling at home in your body. Feeling safe is trusting your journey. Feeling safe is feeling free around those you love. Feeling safe is trusting that the sun will rise again. If you grew up emotionally, spiritually, or physically unsafe, reset your default expectations to a healthier vibration. 
goddess declaration i am safe it is safe to be safe i am safe it is safe to be safe i am safe it is safe to be safe i say family it is safe to be safe it is safe for you in your new dimension your new reality your new being it is safe for you to walk into your walk on your new path it's safe don't don't let fear stop you i say family last is <laughs> creativity the seven sisters okay it's safe for you to create family <laughs> Seven Sisters Guidance. Create, create, create. You come from conjurers and creators. Your blood remembers. It's in you, family. Use your gifts to multiply your magic. You are a cosmic creatrix and creative force. You are a divine nation within one person. How creative do you allow yourself to be? Break out of your comfort zone and into your creative fertility. You have the power that creates planets. So yes, you are creative. No one else's opinion matters here. Let your inner child play to awaken your creativity. Creating is birthing, is manifesting. I shave. God is declaration. I am a creative visionary. I am a creative visionary. I am a creative visionary. I shave family. With... <laughs> You are a creative. It is in your blood. You're not new to this. You're true to this. Okay? It's your birthright. Create your reality, family. That's what Source is telling you. It is safe for you to create your reality. And with this 8-8 portal, the 8-8 portal is, um, the energy will still be potent until like the 12th or the 16th or something like that. But the 8th is, August 8th is the peak of the 8-8 eight, eight, uh, energy plus because it's August 8th the 8th month the 8th day and then we're in the year of 8 so August 8th is a very powerful potent day so I'm gonna need you to manifest and create family even if you you know you don't do petitions you don't write stuff down you don't do candle whatever it is you if you don't do anything like that in the physical you better be made manifesting in your mind you better be playing uplifting music playing high vibrational meditation music you better be speaking life into yourself into your kids into your reality into your soul into your environment speak life speak happiness utilize this energy to the fullest potential that you can family Ladies, if you are having your visitor, your 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 friend, uh, Aunt Flo has visited you, or if you are like ovulating, you're in that period afterwards or right before, baby, you better harness this <laughs> this energy because you are extremely powerful. This energy right now is powerful, and you are extremely powerful. Utilize everything that you have. You are a creator. You are a creatrix use your power you are powerful family men too y'all are powerful utilize your power create your reality draw up draw up the blueprint if you don't do petitions or nothing like that if you you know what i'm saying write a list a, a list of goals write a list of hopes um write a list for encouragement or inspiration, whatever it is that whatever floats your boat, whatever makes you feel, you know, at ease, that's what you do. And make sure that you believe it. Make sure that you know that it will come true. And if you have a little doubt, look, you faith is a mustard seed, family. <laughs> Just trust it and believe it to be true and utilize this energy. If you don't believe it to be true, just believe that this energy is potent and it's going to assist you. Believe that your ancestors and your family want to help you. I keep I keep hearing a proud family song. Proud family. Your ancestors are proud of you. Your ancestors want you to utilize and harness this energy because you are being initiated into this rebirth, into reaching your highest potential into living that reality that you fantasize about all the time tomorrow 
within you know in this time frame 8 8 portal and up until the 12th to the 16th i'm gonna need you to keep fantasizing about these this life that you want and all those thoughts that come up with these retrogrades you need to just tell them you know go somewhere else <laughs> you need to pivot and then fantasize about what you want your reality to really be don't get stuck with these retrogrades pivot from those thoughts that resurface release them let them go and fantasize or visualize what you want your life to really be 2020 on the clock family visualize what you want 2024 <laughs> visualize what you want your life to really be family because that is very important because you are creating and co-creating with the universe right now and that's what source wanted me to come and tell y'all i hope that you know you took whatever you needed to take from it whatever resonated take it whatever didn't leave it don't forget to like comment share and subscribe y'all have a great day and always respect yourself protect yourself and love yourself out here in these streets ashe family peace